Nine months ago, I went to the first protest at Queen's Park, Toronto. At the time, I was asking others, what is the solution? I compared our situation to the cancer industry. In conventional medicine, they always focus on symptoms. They prescribe you drugs to treat your symptoms. They never focus on the causes of sickness. They never really give you a solution, something that will cure you. Most of you know why. By focusing on symptoms, they know they have a returning customer. In many cases, they can even make you a customer for life, calling your problem chronic. If you think about it, it's really great business, isn't it? Now, why am I talking of cancer, of symptoms, causes, and the medical field? Just like in health, we can look at the problems, the symptoms we have today, and spend the rest of our lives fighting these symptoms of a slave system. Fighting against vaccines, geoengineering, politicians, corporations, police, etc. Symptom after symptom without ever focusing on the underlying root cause of all our problems. What is making us sick? What is making us enslaved? This government does not represent us. They do not serve us. Does this sound crazy to you? I can prove this from official government documents. This country is a registered corporation. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms tells you who it applies to. If you go online and check the Canadian Constitution Act, the government's own website, read section 32 and it will, it will tell you who has the rights and freedoms. Government employees. There are more not so hidden truths in this document, but for the sake of time, please check them later. The Canadian Constitution Act, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms were not written for the people and they were not written by the people. We are in this present situation because of ignorance and deception. If we really want a way out, we have to build a way out. We have our natural rights, nobody can take them away from us. It is time we use our rights and build the country we want to live in. What is the most powerful document a country can have? A constitution. Some of you might not know, but there are several patriots in all Canadian provinces working on this solution. There is a reason why we didn't learn of constitutions in school. Why is the constitution so important? It establishes who has the highest authority, starting from the people, then the constitution, the courts, government, and so on. I understand there's division and doubts, but you have to ask yourself, what is the solution? How are we getting out of this new world order slave system? I ask you please, look at this information and join the effort in building a better future. Let's work for a solution. Knowledge makes a man unfit to be a slave. A revolution does not need to be a battle. It doesn't need to be torches and pitchforks on the streets. The simple act of accepting and using our natural rights, our power to build our system, is in itself a revolutionary act. We don't need to fight them, we just need to make them obsolete. To explain this in the slim simplest way possible, if our society was a board game, the constitution is the written rules of the game. Are we going to allow the 1% to continue setting the rules for us? Or are we going to use our power to make the rules of our country? Please let's unite and make history. And this is not a fairy tale. This has been done in Iceland 